straight knock a door word on the local priest hey guys welcome back to my channel today i decided to play with some more color um i threw on my blue skull shirt so i definitely wanted to incorporate a fun blue eye look um, I've never worn blue eyeshadow before, so this is my incorporation, is that the word? No. This is my take on the blue eyeshadow look, so if you want to see how I got this blue eyeshadow look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I did my brows off camera, so I'm going to go ahead and um, clean them up with some concealer. And I'm going to bring the concealer all the way down my lid to prime for the eyeshadow. No, no, keep me sane Just a strong dose of morphine No, she helps to ease the pain Is she imaginary? Is she imaginary? Is she imaginary? Got me dancing. Is she imaginary? Is she imaginary? You guys, I don't know about y'all, but I miss having my eyelash extensions. I miss having my nails done. I'm ready for all of this to be over. I mean, obviously, I want it to be over at the appropriate time. You know, I want everyone to be safe and stuff, but I'm definitely ready for it to be over because I need my eyelashes done. I need my nails done. It's just about that time. So I was feeling the vibe of like my shirt and my earrings, which is like this turquoisey mint blue. And then I have uh, like a bright blue on my shirt. So I figured I'd try maybe some blue eyeshadow today, see where it takes me. I don't know about y'all, but I have been trying some crazy things during this quarantine. I know I've been trying to cook a lot more. I've definitely been trying to like put color on my eyes, which I usually never do. Like I'm trying to get better at a lot of things, which honestly is keeping me from going crazy because what is the saying like idle minds it's the devil something i don't know but i know that me mentally if i just lay around the house all day if i don't do anything i go crazy like i start to think crazy things so i definitely need to keep my mind busy so i have been trying a lot of new things so you are coming on this colorful eyeshadow ride with me i know i'm not the best but hey we all have to start somewhere right so Anytime I want to play with color with the eyeshadows that I have, I always go to the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. It is the big pink one. And today I'm going in with the color Brain Freeze, which is like the light baby blue color. It's really pretty. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. And just in windshield wiper motions, putting it all in my crease. It's so pretty. And obviously I do start with my eyes first, considering that I'm doing color. I usually just start with my eyes first, period. In case I do put any eyeshadow and it falls on my foundation, nobody wants to like wipe their eyeshadow off their face and accidentally take like a big glob of foundation. And my skin is clearing up and I am so happy. I do have a few acne scars, you know, from over the years. That's just a little pimple. And I have one up here, but I have a couple acne scars from over the years, but nothing crazy. And the number one thing that's kept my skin from having crazy acne scars is when I get pimples, I never pop them. Like, I let them look as ugly as they want. But when I was younger, I don't know if this is true or not, but my mom said, if you pop your pimples, you're going to leave a scar. So I, ever since I was little, I was like, no. Like, I will let it grow and look really ugly, but I just cannot pop it because I'm scared I'm going to have a scar. And sure enough, whenever I pop it, it leaves a scar. I'm like, see, just be patient. Obviously, like, wash your face, do your face mask, do everything you can to take it off, but don't actually physically pop it. And uh, another trick that I've learned is if you look down into a mirror, you can see your entire lid instead of being like this. When you look down a little bit at an angle, you can really see what you're doing to make sure that they're looking the same, both your eyes. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna blend the edges out really fast just to make sure that we have this transition shade nice and blended okay next i'm gonna take the same uh, palette i'm gonna take the color soaked and i'm gonna place that right under the baby blue that i just did When I tell y'all that blue, it's like, oh, this one's a little bit harder to blend. Okay. We bought a challenge. Challenge accepted. I'm going to be sitting here for a while, but hey. I always envied those girls, not in a bad way. I just, I guess I looked up to the girls who could wear like crazy eyeshadow in public. I was always like, wow. Like I was always amazed. Like if, when I went to the matte counter to buy stuff, the matte girls always had like, uh, like some type of color going on in their eyes. And I always thought it was so beautiful. How the, the like blend and the talent that they had. Cause I'm sure we've all seen some craziness with color on people's eyelids. So the other day I tweeted about how hard Mexican rice is to make. Me personally, I don't know why I have such a hard time. Usually I'm not gonna lie, like when I try something, I can always almost get things right. I know that sounds kind of conceited, but like my whole life, like if I wanted to learn to do something, I can usually do it right within the first couple of times. But my god, Mexican rice, I have tried to make it so many times. And it's like, it's it's one of two things. Sometimes it'll taste great. Well, I guess it doesn't taste great if it's mushy. But like the flavor will be there. But the consistency is so hard or so soft. And I'm just like, golly. Or I'll get the consistency where I like. And... The flavor's off. And I'm like, how do women do this? And I'm just thinking about like growing up, like, so my mom really didn't cook a lot. My dad cooked more, but I just never paid attention. Like, I don't know who I was kidding, but I definitely should have paid attention more growing up. And once I get it, I'm definitely going to put it in Aaliyah's head to learn how to make it at a young age. Now I'm probably going to cut this next part out because I'm just going to sit here and blend these two together because I really don't like how they blended. So I might edit this part out. I might fast forward it. I don't know, but I definitely need to get these colors blended and I will be right back. Is she imaginary? Is she imaginary? Is she imaginary? She's got me dancing. Is she imaginary? Is she imaginary? Is she her? Okay, so next, actually, um, with my finger and that little middle spot I have, I'm going to take some concealer and place it, it's not going to be anything like super specific, it's just going to be kind of like a small triangle. So in the OG Jaclyn Hill palette in the very corner, it's like a mermaidy, pretty teal color. If you have the OG Jaclyn Hill palette, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to take that with my pinky and I'm going to place that right on the concealer.
trying not to touch it too much because then you can um, lose the, the glitter and then mold it into one color, which is a problem that I have. And that's not what we're trying to accomplish. Period. Me? I'm not to the point yet where I can just wear color and eyelashes and I feel like everything looks okay. For me personally, the eyeliner really helps just bring everything to like a crisp place. I don't know how to explain it. But it really just takes my look to the next level because I'm not at that level yet with just eyeshadow. So I'm going to put this on real quick. under my eyes with a makeup wipe and I'm going to clean up under the uh, wing because obviously I don't want eyeshadow under it. I have to be really careful. So now I'm going to cut some lashes to fit my eye. I'm just going to take the Ardell Wispies, the OG eyelashes. My go-to back in the day. They're still my go-to. There's so many lashes out there, you know? As you can tell, I don't have my backdrop up today. I need to go buy some more. I don't even know if this is going to stay behind me. I just wanted something on the wall while I recorded this. But I, my one of my projects is to do a whole like wall for when I don't want to have a backdrop. Like I can just have pretty stuff behind me. And my little girl ran off with my tweezers. I saw her playing with them the other day. But I don't know where she left them. So I'm having to do this with my fingers, which is how I used to do it. Back when I wore makeup all the time. So now I'm just going to blend my real lashes with the... fake ones and I should have wiped my real eyelashes with the mascara remover I mean the makeup remover because I have a little bit of eyeshadow in my lashes so like you can see it against the fake ones that is not what's up Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my face. This is just my eyeshadow, and I will be right back. So yeah, you know how I said that um, it was hard for me to make rice? Well, one of my friends is literally snapping me right now the steps of how she makes her rice. And she's such a good friend because I was like so confused but she helped me out so next time i cook i'm definitely gonna follow her recipe but anyways so the face is done so i'm gonna go ahead and do under my eyes i'm debating 
I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with that soaked color. Barely. I'm scared. And uh, be really careful. I'm gonna run this all over under my eye, like so. And I'm going to take that mermaidy color and go right over the color that I just did. Now that's perfect. It is a bit crazy, but... I've literally never worn this color before. Oh, when it gets in your eye, that's the best feeling. So now I'm gonna hit the bottom of my lashes with some mascara once I get this dang eyeshadow out of my eye. Oh, I hate when I do that. You know what I watched for the first time since I'm in quarantine? I know y'all are gonna judge me, but I watched um, Colombiana for the first time. That's a bad bitch. Uh, I'm just taking like any nude color. This is the Lottie London Stay All Day. I don't know what color it is. But her name, Catalea, I was like, oh my goodness. And I was like, is that? Is that like too close to Aaliyah? Like if I were to have another girl and I named her Gatalea, would that be too close to Aaliyah? You know? And for anyone wondering, all my lip filler is gone. So this is the shape of my lips. My natural lips. So once that's uh, kind of starting to dry out, let me dry it off a little more. Okay, once that's dried off a little bit, I'm going to take the Buxom Lip Gloss and Blushing Margarita. I love that. I'm going to put that all over my lips. Got a big old bob. So now I'm going to spray my face. that is it for this makeup look let me know if y'all like this let me know what other looks y'all want me to try i'm literally just trying as y'all are watching me i have not practiced this look before this is just something that i threw together and i actually really like the way it came out i really like the way it incorporates with my shirt and my earrings but i had a lot of fun you guys um stay safe stay smart and i will see y'all in my next video i love you all bye